There has been a lot of misinformation floating around about FEMA and what it is or isn't doing in the hurricane recovery since Hurricane Helene hit multiple states, including Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, and South Carolina. So this is highlighting a vote taken very recently to extend FEMA funding through December 20th of 2024. The measure passed, but all of the no votes came from Republicans in the House and Senate. And I'm going to show you who voted no, and some of those are the ones crying the loudest and spreading the most misinformation. including one Florida Congressman, Matt Gates. But let me show you the entire I'm just list. going to scroll this up and you can pause and see who voted no in the House and Senate to not fund FEMA. That was the entire list of the no votes, all Republican who voted not to fund FEMA until December 20th. And this vote took place with Hurricane Helene on its way to landfall and the devastation that occurred. Then the claims came out that FEMA wasn't doing their job. They had spent their money on migrant programs and just all kinds of falsehoods. Matter of fact, even the governors and some mayors in these affected states said it wasn't true. They had talked to President Biden and the funds were approved, help was there, and they were told, whatever you need, give us a call. Boots were on the ground. But you know who did divert disaster funds to migrant programs? None other than Donald Trump when he was president. 